so here is the brand new edition of Physics for the Grammar Stage. And as you can see, just like in the Earth Science, uh, the third edition of Earth Science and Astronomy for the Grammar Stage, the teacher's guide is a lighter color than the student workbook. And this makes it easier, so when you've got them sitting on your shelf, um, you don't necessarily have to read the spines, you can see right away, this is teacher's guide, student workbook. So, made that a lot easier for y'all. Um, when you open it up, woohoo! You'll see the same quick start guide. It's going to tell you what you're going to be doing in a nutshell, what you need, the student materials, the two spines, um, the demonstration supplies. So these, these spines are staying the same as what was in the previous edition of physics for the grammar stage. The biggest difference with this edition is that all your experiments are actually in the week's materials. So you don't need to get that Janice Van Cleve book, just the two spines. And then if you want to do the scientist biographies, those as well. And then you'll see just a breakdown quick how the program works. Then you've got your table of contents, so you'll know exactly where you can find a page quickly. Uh, you've got a peek inside, so all the different parts of the teacher's guide are here and explained for you, so you can see them at a glance. And then the student materials, you can see those at a glance, the different parts for that. And you can use either student workbook or the Lapaking templates, or if you want to add in a younger kid with the coloring pages. And then in this edition, we have a list of topics covered. So you'll know if you have to report to your school all the topics that you're going to cover, um, or if you just want to know <laughs> what physics it covers. Those are all the topics covered. And then we've got a detailed introduction uh, for you to read so you know exactly what uh, the different pieces of the program and what each week is going to contain. And then you'll have all your supplies listed in one place to make it easier. Uh, we will still have an experiment kit uh, with all the hard to find supplies to help you with that. Or you can just collect them yourself on your own. So here's the first unit. We're still covering those same topics that were covered in physics, the previous edition of physics for the grammar stage. Uh, we're just going to do it in an easier format. So you'll see the memory work, your supplies for the unit uh, laid out for you, the vocabulary. And then we get into the heart of the teacher's guide, exactly what you're going to be using every week. So we've got laid out for you a two-day or a five-day schedule. You can do it either one or you can do it your own way. And then we've got uh, your reading assignments all separated out. So everything that's going to have to do with reading is going to be here. And you've got discussion questions to use, your memory work, the optional encyclopedias and library book. If it's optional, it'll be marked optional before it so you know um, that's not necessarily something you have to do that week. It's just if your kids want more. Uh, you've got the demonstration information, so what you'll need. You've got a scripted introduction uh, for each demonstration now for your kids. And then you've got it laid out, the procedure. And then you've got an explanation with a scripted uh, paragraph that you can read to your kids after you do the demonstration. And then if you want to take it further, you've got ideas there as well. And those, again, they're optional. You've got an optional unit project. You've got optional projects for the different topics that you're studying that specific week. So the unit project will go through the whole unit, whereas these will be just the specific week. And then you've got all your write uh, stuff, everything you're going to have them write. So you're reading, you're doing, and you're writing. Uh, the three keys to science. Uh, and you're writing, you're going to have your student workbook stuff first, and then you'll have optional things like the lap booking templates and coloring pages and uh, vocabulary, which is not optional, and if you want to go over that, and then you'll have an optional weekly review sheet. So that's what the heart of a lesson is going to look like. And we'll flip through, so you've got 36 weeks of those lessons, and then in the back, You've got the templates you'll need, um, and then you've got a full glossary of all the terms that are covered in the program that you can use with your kids if you want to help have them look it up. And then you've also got a complete list of all the additional library books, so you can pull this out and take it with you. So that's the teacher's guide where most of the changes are going to be. And then the student workbook, um, we have added in just a quick letter to your student to kind of um, that they can read or you can read with them about what they're going to be studying for the year and how they're going to go about doing it. Um, and then they will have a table of contents, just like you do, and an explanation of what's in their student workbook written to them. 
And then you'll have, just like you did before, those unit project sheets. Uh, a notebooking sheet and then a demonstration report. So every time this notebooking sheet and this demonstration report will be customized for what they're doing that specific week. So you've got all those unit sheets for them. And then as we get towards the back, they have an A to Z glossary. So these are all the terms covered in here and they're done A to Z. And then We've got uh, memory work. So these are larger versions of their memory work that you can either uh, copy or tear out and put up on the wall for them as they're memorizing, or you can just mark it in their book. And then all those review sheets are in the back. So you can have them uh, fill out these review sheets as a quiz, so to speak, or just have, go over it at the end of the week to make sure that they caught all the highlights of what you were studying. So that is the third edition of Physics for the Grammar Stage. I trust you guys will like what you see in this new easy to use format, which you can get at elementalscience.com.